Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn Ansible handlers. So first of all, we need to understand what, what is Ansible handlers. So in Ansible, handlers are typically used to start, reload, restart, and stop services. If your playbook involves changing configuration files, there is a high chance that you will need to restart a service so that the changes effect, take, take effects. Then in this case, you will need to define a handler for that service and include the notify directive in any task that require that service handler. So that's the Ansible handlers. The next is syntax of Ansible handlers. So you can see this is the syntax of handlers. So first of all, handlers, then name, the name restart Apache 2, then service, in service name Apache 2 and state restarted. Restarted, stop, what you want. So that's the syntax of handlers. The next is example of handlers. So for that, firstly, we need to create a playbook. So as you know, we need to run this command to create playbook, sudo nano and name of our playbook. So my playbook name is install hyphen apache 2.yml. And in this, we need to write our playbook. So as you know, playbook start with three dash, then single dash, then name is optional. If you don't want, you can remove this name. So here my name is Ansible Handlers. Then host, my host name is DevOps scene, then become is, then task is important. Here, first of all, my, uh, in task, my name is Ap install Apache, then APT, in APT, name Apache 2, state latest, then notify restart Apache 2, then in handlers, name restart Apache 2, then service, in service, name Apache 2, and state is restarted. So restarted will always bounce the service, but we don't want bounce the service like always. You want to bounce the service, only the installation happened or uh, maybe after new content has been pushed. So uh, when you did this, then you need to restart the service. So for that, we are going to use handlers. So firstly, I'm going to run this playbook without handlers. So that's why I'm removing this handlers tag as well as notify. Now, save the file and exit. Now let's check there is any error or not. So for that, run the command ansible hyphen playbook and name of our playbook, then hyphen hyphen check. So let's check there is any error or not. So no, there is no error. Now we are going to run our playbook. So run this check and run. So you can see that it should restart the service every time that we run. If I'm going to run one more time, So it should be again restarting Apache 2. You can see here it again restarting Apache 2. So this is very bad. So that is the reason that we use handlers. So now if I open my playbook and now I'm going to use handlers. First of all here mention handlers. Then notify. So first of all, I'm going to run this, oh, sorry. Uh, so first of all, where you want to call handlers, you just use notify. So here I'm, go, I'm going to, I want to call handlers. So that's why here I'm going to use notify. Notify. And in notify, the name exactly match what you have written in handler name. So that's why I'm going to, copy and paste this handler name in notify. 
restart apache 2 and you need to careful about indentation so yeah it's perfect now save the file and exit first of all clear the screen and let's check there is any error or not Okay, there is no error, so clear the screen and remove this check. Now we are going to run our playbook. So if you can see here, every time that we will run our playbook, the Apache restart has been executed. But this time when we run our playbook, this will not execute it. Here you can see in task gathering fact ta in second task install Apache, but there is no any restart Apache task because there is nothing changed in this task. So we have mentioned notify in this task means only if some changes happen in this task, then only this will be notified. So you can see here. Now, uh, now. So this is the handlers works. Now, if you are installing for the first time, then what will we do this? Let me uninstall Apache first. So first of all, create one more playbook using this command sudo nano uninstall apache.yml. Now we are going to uninstall Apache. For that, your playbook look like this, and here instead, latest replace with absent because we are going to uninstall our Apache 2. Now save the file and exit, and now run this uninstall playbook. So run the command ansible hyphen playbook and name of our playbook. Okay, it's successfully uninstalled. Now clear the screen and now open our install apache.yml. Now we are going to run our playbook. Now when we run this playbook, this time there will be change in Ansible. We are because we uninstall Apache 2 in that time that handler will call. So let's check. So now run this playbook ansible hyphen playbook and name of our playbook. So you can see a running handler restart Apache 2 call. So that's the handler, that's the Ansible handlers. So in this video, we have learned Ansible handlers. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.